What is going on? Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you're doing well. So obviously, bit of a change in scenery today. I'm on the move. I'm taking advantage of the fact that the shackles of lockdown have been taken off, and I'm hitting the road, and I'm gonna go catch up with my mates Matt and Andrew from the YouTube channel Keep On Collecting. So looking forward to catching up with those guys. We're gonna enjoy an adult beverage, maybe get some food, and I'm looking forward to checking out Andrew's collection room. Andrew has a little bit of a head start on me in terms of collecting. Uh, he's been doing it for quite a while, so I can't wait to catch up with those guys and see Andrew's collection room. So I'm about to put some tunes on, hit the road, and, uh, and we'll see you there. So I've got some mates here with me. I'm here with Matt and Andrew from Keep On Collecting. Hey, hey guys. Now I've had a, I've had a oh, I want to say a quick tour, not not so quick tour. We went in there for a couple of minutes and three hours passed us by. So we've <laughs> I've had a look at the at the collection. I'm actually I'm absolutely blown away by Andrew's collection. It's it's uh it's just on another level. Um, I've almost fainted. The boys have fanned me down and given me some water. <laughs> I've got my wits together. And now I'm just going to flip the camera around and we'll go in, we'll have a squeeze and, uh, and we'll share some of the highlights with you. Yeah. We'll see you in there. Beautiful, awesome. Alrighty, so here is either Andrew's collection room or Toys R Us circa 1989. So here's a quick shot at the this amazing collection and we're just going to turn around and just go just go shelf by shelf and have a bit of a look. Andrew, what have we got here, mate? Okay, let's... let's... We've got some Motu to start off. Yeah, you got a small amount of Masters of the Universe, some of the vintage line there. Beautiful. Um, just the main characters, Skeletor and He-Man and... Uh, got to have those guys. Yeah, a few, a few of the new ones that Matt's uh, purchased for me. Lovely. Which is great. Um, we've got Robin Hood here. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I can never say that properly. <laughs> In that line, that's um, almost there. And then we got the shadow. The shadow. There, that was a good. There was a good film. That one. Bit of Beetlejuice. There's Beetlejuice. There. They're stacked behind, of course. So who doesn't love a bit of Beetlejuice? And I spotted uh, something I've never seen before, and that's a Beetlejuice collector's case behind yeah, you. I can pop that out. I think without pulling everything out of the way. Oh, careful! <laughs> that's all right. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, they, they did a lot of those sort of cases for things, didn't oh, they? Oh, they, they did one with every toy line. You see the Motu ones and the Turtles and Ghostbusters one. I've never seen that one before. I, but I like the, the, the art they put on them. They're oh, really for good. sure. <laughs> yeah, open it up and yeah, it's just an Beautiful. empty storage case. So they, it looks like they, whatever they wanted, they slipped in between the plastic there. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great. All the on the back. Yeah, that's oh. a good one, actually. It's a shame I've got it stacked behind there. Yeah, um, I know, mate. You've got a three-car garage, but you you um somehow don't quite have as much space as you need. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm even scared to even try to put it back, so I'll put that back there later on. That's all right. I'll stick that up there. So down here, we might want to open up. Yeah, let's open her up. So we've got Knight Rider from the 80s. Yep. Uh, some Astro Wars, which is an old handheld game I had as a child. Yep. Um, go across. Uh, Blue Thunder from the movie Blue Thunder. Some Rambo. Beautiful. Again, here. Skeleton Warriors. Skeleton Warriors, yes. Love these guys. Some. Um... And then I just love this. We've just got a mix of just quick and easy action figure lines from movies. Last Action Hero. 
Terminator 2, Stargate. Stargate? In even, the film? even Coneheads are getting a run. Okay, yes. We've got a boxed Crash Dummies crash car there. One of my favourites. Um, Space Precinct, that was a, a, a Jerry Anderson show oh, that yeah. didn't have a good run, but they made great, good little toys there. Oh, it's awesome. So, move across. Here we can go up. Oh. <laughs> Waterworld, which they said the movie was a bomb, but I, I thought it was quite good, actually. But And then what else have got there? Sea Quest. Go across. Robocop. Yeah. They're all stacked up in there. Aliens. Um, unfortunately, there. Yeah, we've got play sets in there. There's a Queen Hive play set which is stacked behind there. Um, the Mummy. And, and one of my personal favourites, the real Ghostbusters. Yeah. So we've got a good, a good range of figures here. Some of the classic ghosts and other creatures. We've got some haunted humans and not one but two firehouses. Andrew, you are a lucky man, my friend. <laughs> well, I just got to say that you could show them sort of one one with the side on profile and one with the front profile. Yeah. That's... Only problem is with the front profile, I can't, couldn't put the uh, the flag on. Oh, yes. Because the glass would hit. But... And you got the Ecto-1 and the Ecto-1A. Yes, which it, it needs refurbishing with the, some new stickers there. It's a bit dirty. No, that's awesome, mate. That's very, very nice. And we've got some Jurassic Park here, so a bit of a mix of modern and vintage stuff. Yes, Mattel's doing really good with their uh, Jurassic dinosaurs. We, we really love them. And then we've got some Kenner figures down here, which are great. Some vehicles. Some vehicles, two on the end from the newer line, from the Mattel line. Yeah. And we've got the Kenner ones. And the actual compound. Awesome stuff. And then we've got some of the girls here. Some of the girls. <laughs> yeah, some of the big figs, uh, Jurassic Park big figs. Yeah. Really good. Now we're going to flip around and go into Star Wars heaven. Now Star Wars is something that if you've been watching my videos, you know it's not particularly close to my heart, but I can absolutely respect the hell out of this amazing collection. So Andrew, what have we got here, mate? These, these are all the, the vintage line? This is the vintage line. So what I've done in here is actually display. This is a full set of uh, Kenner uh, Star Wars of the vintage line. So from the three films. So I have got them loose. Um, so it's not all the vehicles because I can fit all the vehicles and play sets in there. So just enough so it complemented the figures. Yeah. So I sort of break break it up from the original first film from The Empire Strikes Back and then Return of the Jedi. Awesome. I'm just going to turn around here. We've got some boxes here. Yeah, so we've got some vintage boxes there and, and of course the vintage, the, the newer ones which they still call the vintage line. Yeah. Over here. Alrighty, and through here we go. I honestly don't know where to look here, Andrew. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a. If we went, if we went shelf by shelf, we'd be in here yeah, like for this. Over this an hour, this yeah. would be a two-hour video. So, but I just want to try and get a bit of a snapshot of everything. There is just so much in here. So basically, all over is just Doctor Who. We've got yep. some Star Trek on the right, and uh, some Pirates of the Caribbean up there. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so just it'd be a very long video if we went through each one, but well, that's what Keep On Collecting's all about, guys. <laughs> if you want to see a closer look at any of this, make sure you go check out Keep On Collecting. So more Star Wars, a couple of Falcons. And I mean, it's this part of the of Andrew's toy room where I really get those toy shop vibes because we've got the old peg rack here that spins. And Andrew was telling me this came from Toys R Us. Yes, Toys R Us when they uh, are selling off all their fixtures and 
I thought, yeah, I, I need somewhere to hang those action figures. Oh, and you're putting it to good use. Speaking of Toys R Us, <laughs> spotted Jeffrey over here. Jeffrey the giraffe, yeah. That's pretty cool. Now we've got a little, little spot behind here where we've got um, obviously some more Jurassic Park stuff. We've got some Indiana Jones figures. Yeah, Indiana Jones line. And I'm absolutely loving these, this Swamp Thing line. Yeah, I actually, it was, it's one of my favourite, the, the Kenneth Swamp Thing. Hmm. And the box art on these things are awesome as well. Yes. And, th and that's something they miss. They don't sort of do those uh, box art type things with the new toys. It's sort of like just an open box now. Yeah, just a window box. Yeah, just a window box. Which of. is nice to be able to display figures without ripping packaging open, but yeah, you, you do lose, miss... The, you lose the imagination, don't you? For sure. For sure. Now, Andrew, tell us about this, this Doctor Who... Oh, uh, this box. is a Doctor Who police box, the TARDIS, and... Uh, so I built this one myself. I haven't finished it. It's been a labor of love. So um, I sort of put the windows in and do the roof, but I do have the lamp and uh, the foam and the uh, the actual telephone that goes into into where they used to pull it open and ring for a constable. Yeah, nice. So, um, but at the moment, it's just more of a, a storage for <laughs> stuff I can't. I now, can't display like G.I. Joe and things like that. Now, we're not going to do a full tour of Andrew's house, but there's various rooms and closets with tubs of figures <laughs> and boxed <laughs> items, and this place is unbelievable. So now we come around here. We've obviously got some turtles. We'll get to that in a minute because we've got some really cool things here as well to look at. So some vintage Buck Rogers. Yeah, some of the vintage Buck Rogers. I mean, just a film and a TV series that we sort of we grew up with loving and... Same with the next shelf there, the Space 1999. Yep. Um, the big one made by Mattel, um, which is quite rare now. But it's a show that we 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 continue to watch to this day and yeah. really love it. Some more good stuff here. And then we've got some big gym stuff, something that you were re re really into as a kid. Yes, well, like the big gym here with the um, Terra of Tahiti set, my father actually was a deep sea welder and he actually wore that type of uh, equipment when he welded. Oh, that's awesome. So I actually have a picture of him going into the water uh, when he was in his 20s, um, welding with that, that helmet on. Oh, wow. So, and I imagine that's why he sort of bought it for me when I was a kid. Because yeah. Because he was actually doing it at the time. Yeah, it was obviously something you and him could relate to. Yeah, so uh, that's definitely one of my uh, precious type toys. Oh, that's awesome. Six million dollar man. Bionic transport and repair station. And then something really cool. We've got some vintage Evil Knievel stuff here. And then we've got this vintage Jaws game playset type thing from Ideal Toys. We busted that out earlier. I couldn't help but ask Andrew to get that out for a look because it's something I've, I've kind of eyed off maybe picking up before. But um, I'll be honest, Andrew, it's not quite as good in, in, <laughs> in, in practice as it is in theory, but that box art makes up for any flaws of that toy. That's well, just that, beautiful. Well, that's right. It's always sort of like different when the reality of it when you open it up exactly. to, compared to the box art. Exactly. And that's why you know, it's one of they don't still continue with the box art. Oh, 100%. Sometimes the box art's more nostalgic than the actual toy itself. Yes. And then we've got the Turtles alcove here. One thing I love about this toy room is the way that Andrew's kind of segmented everything into little alcoves so you can walk freely through, but he's really making the most of the space. So... A mix of a little bit of vintage turtle stuff up the top. The some of the key players from 1988, plus the original party wagon boxed, and then we've just got a lot of modern stuff here. Which you know, I've never really got into the modern stuff for turtles, but I really like what Andrew's done here. Some of these play sets are just awesome. We've got some big figs here. Yeah, I'll just I'll just move them out of the way. And then 
here we go with um, some of this modern turtle stuff. So this newer sewer playset is pretty awesome, just the sheer size of it. It makes the vintage turtle playset look tiny. And then we've got some more modern turtle stuff here. Now I'm blasting through pretty quick just because I'm there's so much to see here and I'm just trying to keep this relatively tight but we've got some awesome biker mice from Mars figures here some of their vehicles and then we go down to a little bit more turtles and then more and more turtles something that I'm all about and that is Street Sharks nice selection of figures here definitely some some that I don't have that I'm on the hunt for and then something that we couldn't quite figure out what it was and, and that's either a bootleg or a spin-off line still racking my brain about that and then we've got some more stuff here so is this Hercules or is this yeah, Hercules Grace uh, Journeys or Le okay. Legendary Journeys, I think it was. Gotcha. And then we've got some Xena stuff. Xena, yeah, which uh, also made by uh, Toy Biz. And then we've got a little bit of a, a mixed batch here of some Demolition Man, some Mars Attacks, some X Files. Small Soldiers up the top. Small, small Soldiers, yep. We've got some Matrix figures. Oh, we've got some Men in Black stuff. So is this vintage from the first movie? Yeah, so the ones on the left there are the sort of like the original ones. They're not complete. They had little stands, but oh, yeah. it's just the line is sort of picked up along the way. Um, they did a van there and to the left and van and then there was oh, the yeah. character there. Awesome. Alrighty, and then we go into... What do we call this? I call it DC Corner. DC Corner. <laughs> I'm just going I mean, to. There is some some Marvel, but mostly DC. Just so much good stuff to look at. The first, so before filming, I came in here on what was supposed to be a bit of a quick look around, but we got distracted, and every everywhere you look here, there's something to see, there's something to pull out and have a closer look at. So some vintage Batman vehicles. I love the curtains. That is such a good score from an op shop. <laughs> Just so much, so many cool things in here to see. And then we got this beautiful set of vintage superpowers figures with the Hall of Justice. That's a toy line that I'm really considering getting stuck into. It's not something I had as a kid, but what's not to love about that? Some more figures and vehicles. And then some different DC lines. And obviously we've got some Marvel stuff here. Who doesn't love a bit of Simpsons? That's pretty cool. I made so much of it, and I still have a frying, a frying Dutchman Moe's. That ah, oh, that's very cool. Someone's ripped into a can of duff. We're about to have a an adult beverage after this. I'm looking forward to that. And the Batman goodness doesn't stop. And again, I'm going through this stuff really quickly because we've already been going for 20 minutes, but just trying to give you guys a bit of a snapshot of, of everything that's in here. We've been having conversations about 
you know, going all in on one toy line as opposed to, you know, mixing it up. And I think there's a nice balance in here. You know, you, you've got your core collections like Star Wars, but there's room for a bit of everything in here. And when I say room, I don't mean physical room because you've, you've maximized that, but there's room in your collection for a bit of everything, a lot of different toy lines. Now, before we wrap up the, the quick tour, just want to share one more thing that I didn't really get a close look at before. I asked Andrew before, heaven forbid, the house is on fire, he's grabbing one thing and bolting out the door. What is it? And Andrew was telling me a bit of a story of of an item that was actually a, you know, a physical item from a childhood. We're all out here collecting, trying to re regain, reacquire figures and items from our childhood, but this is actually something here that was from Andrew's childhood. Why don't you tell us a bit about this Yoda here? That's a, a Yoda hand puppet from The Empire Strikes Back, so around about 1981, I think. Yeah. Around about that time. And now I got that when I was 10 years old. Oh, awesome. For my birthday. So, and, and that's one of the roughly the only one of two things that I've got left from my childhood. So, a true childhood survivor. That's right. Thank you very much, Andrew. Really appreciate you extending the invite to me. Thank you very much um, for coming down. No, mate, really happy to. Awesome to catch up with you and Matt. Let's have a beer and we'll wrap up the video in just a minute. Alrighty, so obviously I'm back in my own cave now, um, which feels, I must say, a little smaller, a little bit cozier than when I was last here by comparison to Andrew's epic toy room. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We we're going to film a bit of an, a bit of a wrap up with Matt and Andrew at Andrew's place. But once we finished in the toy room, we knocked the top off a couple of beers, ordered some food, and time kind of got away from us. Speaking of which, you know, it was quite funny. Before I filmed my kind of tour of of Andrew's room, we went in there so the guys could could show me it and take me through it. And um, it was kind of like the Las Vegas effect. I mean, we went in there about lunchtime, maybe a touch after, and it felt like we'd been in there for about an hour and it was like four hours later we came out and and uh you know at times i felt like a, a lost child at a toys r us back in the day you know everywhere i looked there was something to see there was no rhyme or reason about the way we were going through it so you know i hope you enjoyed the video i'm pretty confident that my limited you know my pretty ordinary filming skills aren't going to do it justice but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless i'm going to wrap it up there i want to extend my Big thanks to Matt and Andrew and Andrew's family as well for looking after me. Had a great time. Great to catch up with you guys. Uh, strongly suggest that you guys go over and check out Keep On Collecting. Matt and Andrew, far more knowledgeable, far more interesting collectors than me. So go on and check those guys out. Give them a sub. Check out some of their videos. But I'll wrap it up there. That's enough for me for today. I'm going to enjoy another one of these. But after seeing Andrew's collection, after hanging out with the boys, I'm going to do what those guys always say. I'm going to keep on collecting. Cheers. Oh, that's good.